In this video, I'm going to show you five of the best ways to use ChatGPT's agent mode for research. These use cases save me hours I'd normally spend reading or stuck on repetitive tasks. We'll look at agents that can pull the best papers for your literature review, build a learning and study content plan, map your skill gaps and show you exactly what to work on, and even set up a research mentorship space with experts you choose and more. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is click the plus button, select agent mode and jump into our first case, the smart literature review builder and gap finder. And here I want to highlight probably one of the most useful things for researchers, getting the agent to do the heavy lifting when it comes to finding the right research papers. So I'm going to add a prompt here, asking it to search for the 20 most cited abstracts on my topic and to extract the key fields for each paper. That's the title, the year, the citation count, the research problem or question, the method used and the main finding. Then as a deliverable, I've told it to organize all of that into a CSV file with six clear columns. The next part of the prompt asks the agent to scan forums for real discussions about AI tools and motivation. I've told it to pull the quotes exactly as students or researchers wrote them and then sort them into four categories. And again, the output here is a CSV. So everything's already structured and ready to use. We've also asked it to find three to four research gaps worth exploring. OK, so now you can actually see the agent getting to work here. It starts by searching Google Scholar and then broadens out to PubMed and a few other sources here. It's opening an article on the impact of AI on students academic development, scanning through the content and deciding what's relevant to keep. Then it moves on to scraping forum threads where students are discussing their motivation, pulling those voices directly into the data set. OK, so after working for around 17 minutes, here's the result. First, it created the CSV of the academic papers and you can see in the file everything is neatly organized. The paper title, the year, citation count, the research problem, the method and the main finding, for example. One paper shows that teacher support makes a huge difference in whether AI motivates students, while another paper shows the impact of a virtual teaching assistant on students learning in higher education. Having this structured like a database means I can filter it, sort it, and drop it straight into my literature review. Then it produced a second CSV with student quotes. Each quote is tagged as improved, reduced, mixed or neutral motivation. And we can see here a student saying they don't have to do any thinking during this process which shows up under reduced motivation, while another who built their own AI coach to fight procrastination shows up under improved motivation. It's also given me a visual summary. And here we have the top five recurring academic findings. Things like AI can increase motivation, but may also create psychological downsides. And that AI benefits often depend on human support and the learning context. And finally, it created a synthesis table that brings it all together, the main academic findings, the student voices and four clear research gaps. So instead of spending weeks buried in papers and forums, the agent handed me structured CSV files, a clear chart and a set of research gaps I can start looking into straight away all in under 20 minutes. OK, so for the next use case, we're going to use ChatGPT agent mode to create a research mentorship board. This pulls together the work of leading experts in a field so you can get their expert opinions whenever you need guidance. So let's say we're working on a research topic and innovation as an example. A lot of what we know about how ideas grow, scale or fail comes from voices like Clayton Christensen, Eric Ries and Peter Thiel. Normally, you'd spend weeks digging through their books and articles, but with an agent, you can bring all of that knowledge together in one place. So you're basically creating an expert panel, one that answers the toughest questions in that field, drawing directly on their perspectives, knowledge and opinions. And imagine extending that even further by adding in the work of your own supervisors and other experts in the field. So here is what we'll ask the agent to do. I'm going to add a prompt here, asking it to act as my innovation mentor compiler. And you'll see here I've given it the names of the mentors. Then in the first step, it will gather 15 to 20 real sources per expert, books, articles, interviews, talks. Then it will create a mentor profile for each one that includes their contributions, frameworks, signature advice and so on. And then it produces a brief that shows the position of each expert plus a CSV file of all the sources with metadata. 
Okay, so after working for around 43 minutes, here's what the agent came back with. First set of mental profiles for Christensen, Reese, and Teal. Each one goes deep into their contributions, frameworks, signature advice, direct quotes with citations, criticisms, and even case examples. Then we get a synthesis brief that pulls their ideas together, showing where they complement each other, where they clash, and finally, a CSV file with all the sources and metadata. That means I can trace every reference back, check the original material, or dig deeper if I want to. So for this use case, and we have one extra step, we're going to turn this into a custom GPT up here, click GPTs, then create GPT. On this screen, give it a name, add a short description, and in the instructions box, tell it how to behave as a research mentorship board and to answer from the viewpoint of the mentors. Now, where it says upload, we're going to take the output from the agent and upload it as knowledge files. So let's go back to our agent over here where it says share. I'm gonna download and choose PDF as the format. Then I need to go back to my custom GPT, upload the PDF and the sources CSV. Once both are uploaded, I can now click create now. Once that's set up, I have my working GPT and I can ask focused questions to draw on their guidance. For example, what should I watch out for when trying to scale in a regulated market? The custom GPT answers using the uploaded profiles, the synthesis and the sources CSV and gives me expert opinions in the mentor's viewpoint. So instead of weeks of reading before I can get an expert opinion, the custom GPT gives it to me as it backed by the files I uploaded. So how amazing is that? Okay, so for the next use case, we're going to use ChatGPT agent mode to do a skill gap analysis and build a training map and here's how it works. The agent looks at your current skills from your CV, your research plan, or even a quick list you give it. Then it cross-checks that with what's most in demand, the role you want, academic pathways, or industry jobs, and then it builds you a skill map. It shows which areas to prioritize and how to grow them. So here's what we need to do. We upload our CV, and then we add this prompt to guide the agent. The prompt tells it to scan job postings on LinkedIn, Glassdoor, and Indeed, plus industry reports, then compare those requirements against the CV, highlight the gaps, and here we ask it to give us three outputs, a CSV file with the gaps, why they matter, and how to build them with real resources, a second CSV file of the job postings it pulled from, and a short roadmap document. And here's what it came back with. It ran for about eight minutes. First, a skill gap CSV file. Each row lists a missing skill, why it matters based on the sources, suggested resources like courses, certifications or projects, and an estimated time frame for development. Second, a job postings CSV file showing details of the roles it analyzed, the job title, company location, posting date, key requirements, and the source link. Third, a roadmap summary document of about 200 words outlining a logical sequence for building the top skills. You can download the full CSV files and they're ready to use. So instead of guessing what matters for your next role, you get a complete source-backed plan in minutes. Okay, for the next use case, we're going to use ChatGPT agent mode to turn any topic you choose into a structured learning plan you can follow. The problem isn't finding content, it's choosing from the huge amount out there and structuring your learning in the right order. There's YouTube, free courses, tutorials everywhere, but no clear path. This is where the agent cuts through the noise and the best part, it works for any topic. Python, statistics, digital marketing, any topic you want to learn. Here's how it works. The agent scans YouTube and platforms like Coursera, Udacity, and so on, finds the strongest, most recent resources and sorts them by level and hands back a plan from beginner to advanced. And here's what came back. It worked for seven minutes. First, a comparison table with 10 high quality Python resources. Each row shows the focus area, title, platform or channel, views or enrollment, difficulty level, recommended use, and the direct link. Second, a 10 item playlist. It starts with beginner courses like Free Code Camp and Mosh. And for every item, you also get the focus area, the platform, the difficulty level, the recommended use, views or enrollments, and the direct link. So you can see what it covers and where it fits in your path. Third, a study plan of about 200 words. It lays out a six to eight week path, tells you what to do first, what to do next, where to slow down, and when to switch from courses to projects and practice. You can download the comparison table as a CSV file here. This is perfect if you're starting something new. Coming back after a break, the agent becomes your content planner, so you can start learning right away. 
For our final use case, we're going to see how a ChatGPT agent can expand your academic reach and connect you with the right people and opportunities. The challenge is that finding the right network, labs and conferences usually takes endless digging, but an agent can map all of this in one go, showing you who's active in your field, which labs are leading and which conferences you should target. Okay, here's what we're going to ask it to do. Map the collaboration and networking space. And here I've added the field I want it to focus on, which is AI and healthcare diagnostics. Put everything into a CSV file with these columns, name, scope, link, and why it matters. Focus on four groups key academics who are publishing in this area, active labs and centers and relevant communities or associations, and the top 10 conferences and journals with upcoming deadlines. After that, write a short 200 word summary. And here's what it came back with. It worked for 19 minutes. First, a CSV file that maps the AI and healthcare diagnostic space. You get key academics, active labs and research centers, professional communities, and the top conferences and journals, each with links, next deadlines, and a short relevance note. Second, a 200 word narrative summary document. It highlights who to follow, which labs to watch, which venues to target first, and which communities to join for visibility. So instead of weeks of digging, the agent hands you a clear, structured networking map. This is perfect for building collaborations, targeting the right conferences and journals. The agent becomes your research connector so you can move from searching to reaching out. So in this video, we looked at five ways to turn ChatGPT agent mode into your research assistant, from finding the right literature to building a mentorship board, study playlists, skill maps, and collaboration networks. These workflows save you hours so if this was helpful, subscribe to the channel and hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next one.